everyone. So I've been trying to find a new curb spot in Buffalo for a while now. And I ride past this on my bike every day. And it's a huge parking lot. Unfortunately, the building is never really closed. Like it's a Sunday morning. Everything's really like quiet right now in the city. And uh, there's still cars here. So a little nervous, but uh, I brought my brick rub. I got some clear coat. But yeah, so I'm hoping to brick rub this and um, get a couple layers of clear coat, maybe some wax on it. Hopefully no one kicks me out. Uh, the parking lot is huge. And even on the busiest, like Monday, uh, middle of the day, um, this it's not even half full. And we're so far in the back, I'm kind of hoping that like, you know, they won't really care, even if they do notice me. Just a little worried about the clear coat because it looks like spray paint, so. I don't know, we're just gonna kinda barge it and see what happens. Hopefully hopefully nothing happens, but you know, it's uh it's by a busy road, so like the noise shouldn't bother anyone. Um yeah, it's in the back of this parking lot. I, I really like kinda scoped it out for a little bit. And uh this looks like a promising spot, so hopefully it works out. You know, the ground's decent, the curbs aren't hit with plows and chunked out. These look pretty uh pretty untouched, so Fingers crossed we can get a get a new curb spot going, but start brick rubbing. Wow, tired. That's a lot of work. I had to take a break. My arms are like jello. Ah. <sighs> So eventually, I want to do the the next curb down, but obviously, I have no idea how this is going to play out as far as like I might even get this whole thing done, waxed up and get like two sessions in and then all of a sudden it's a bust so before I like kill myself and make like this epic spot that like I'm so bummed I'm just doing one curb and kind of feeling it out you know eventually it'd be cool to have this whole thing done but you know we got to see if uh the business cares it's like a multi-business building there's like multiple businesses in it so we'll see like I said I think I'm far enough away from the building that I don't even think they'll care I'm not by cars, I'm not by spots. This isn't even like a parking spot area. It's just a, like a drive through area. So fingers crossed. All right, so I got it pretty smooth. I think that's like, that's decent enough. If I put enough clear coat on it and wax, like that should be plenty good. But like I said, I don't want to kill myself over the the spot. Yeah, it just, you know, it's not, uh, it's not, we don't know how this is going to play out. Also no shade here but I think I'm just gonna blast it with the clear coat and hope for the best All right, now we just uh, chill for a minute, I guess, see what happens. I just kind of just barged that. Did a whole can, pretty much, um, well, half a can maybe, but yeah, we'll see. It's drying super fast. So you can see like how far away I am from the building. So like I said, uh, at like the busiest days, like it's not even halfway like across. So half the parking lot's usually empty. Like I said, I, I scouted a lot before I did this. So hopefully, you know, that's not too close. All right, well, I was waiting for it to dry and like a cop drove by pretty quick and did like a pretty abrupt turn. So hid the can of clear coat in my bag and uh, gonna wait it out, see if they come back, come back around, loop the block. If they loop the block, then I gotta, I gotta head out. All right, I think it's been long enough. It's been about five minutes. So 
I'm gonna put on one more coat, let that dry, and then hit it with the wax. See what happens. <laughs> All right, well, I got two super heavy coats of clear coat on. Um, I probably could use more, honestly, but like I said, I'm just, this is a, this is a trial run. I put about three fourths of a can on there. I think, I think that should be good for one curb. Obviously you want to usually use like a whole can on a curb, really. But uh, I didn't really even do like the top bit up here. Um, just the edge basically for like 50s, no slides, tail slides, you know, slappies, all that stuff. Man, I just, I did not, the one thing I didn't think about was shade. There is zero shade here. That was a lot of work. Well, we've been down here about an hour and uh, I think it's finally ready to try to do some grinds on. It is really hot, so I'm worried about the wax kind of melting instantly. It's not like, you know, broken in, but see if we can get some 50s, no slide, maybe a slappy. Let's see. Man, I did not expect this. It's perfect. It grinds so good immediately. No slides, grinds, slappies. I didn't think the slappy would go. Boom, it went good. Oh man. I haven't even haven't even gotten a a look or anything from people over here. So if all goes well, I'm gonna have a bunch of slappy curbs. I wanna go um, all the way to the end on this one and then do another one down there so you can do lines. That's the mission for the end of summer now. This spot holds up. This is awesome. Oh, I love a new spot. If you live in Buffalo, come skate this. It's so fun. All right, so off camera, I've just been doing basically a bunch of slappy 50s just to get it like really worked in. And you can see where it grind, it is butter. This thing goes so good. So yeah, if you guys are trying to get a curb going in like half hour, hour, that's the way to do it. Get a brick rub, rub brick, whatever you want to call it. Rub it out as smooth as you can, spray it with as much clear coat as you can, put as much wax on as you can, and it is good to go. This thing is so good. I was kind of surprised too because it's like 80 degrees out today so the wax was just kind of melting but seems to be working perfectly um the wax is definitely getting on the ground around it but that happens with all slappy spots so you know it is what it is but it's awesome i'm loving it I haven't, I haven't even gotten a look over here yet so it looks like it's going to be a perfect spot for the summer